Hello everybody, my name is Mircea Dima and this video is about my latest build an 80mm brushless quadcopter. I'm building multi rotors for a few good years now from the very familiar size 450 all the way to 1 meter and uh, above. After I became passionate about 250 size FPV racers Slowly I started building it smaller and smaller and uh, this is how I got the idea of testing myself in building the smallest brushless quadcopter. I spent a good amount of time uh, finding uh, the right components and this is the end result. 80 mil quadcopter that weighs a little over 18 grams. I think um, I can shave that extra over 18 grams by eliminating as much as I can uh, as much as possible from the battery wires and connectors. Uh, total takeoff weight though can be 27, 25, 27 grams um, according to the battery size. In my case I'm using this 300 milliamp hour uh, 1S 3.7 volt uh, LiPo battery which is enough for about 6-7 minutes flight. Um, let's do the weighting bring the scale in okay so quadcopter is 18.2 grams I hope you can see that uh, now let's add the battery 26.9 grams Okay, and uh, each of these squares, they're spaced one inch apart. I hope you can see that. Let's bring the copter up there. Okay, so the squares are spaced one inch apart. And now let's talk a little bit about the quadcopter. We'll start with uh, with the frame. Mainframe and motor mounts, they're made of uh, carbon composite. They're joined together with uh, 3 mil carbon tubes. Uh, each uh, motor is attached to the motor mount with a set screw, which is over here. Each motor mount is attached to a carbon tube with another set screw, and each carbon tube is attached to the mainframe with another set screw. These four set screws also serve as the battery holder. The motors I used, they are 7900 kV, they run on 3.7 volt. Um, each motor is spinning a 45 mil propeller, 3 blade propeller. And um, the motor, motor wires, they run through the motor mounts, through the carbon tubes, and they come out right underneath the each uh, speed controller. And uh, they're soldered di directly to the speed controller. To, in, to each individual speed controller which are these four boards over here corresponding four motors. The blackboard up top is a DSM2 receiver, it's a seven channel receiver it's also soldered directly to the flight controller so are the uh, speed controllers and this way uh, it's resulting in a very clean assembly we know no unnecessary wires or added weight uh, flight controller, the blue board underneath, it's running on uh, slushed with uh, clean flight firmware and it's fully customizable via this micro USB port that's located at the back of the quad. Um, I already tested, it flies pretty well, but um, there is room for improvements, so I still need to play a little bit with the PIDs, uh, people that. Uh, fly quadcopters, they know the drill. The first uh, fly test was uh, done in a pretty windy day and considering the size of this quadcopter you can imagine the quadcopter was everywhere but in frame so I will not post that video. I'll try to shoot another video, eventually use a different camera 
um, I'll try to stay focused or close to the quadcopter so you, you can see it, you can see how it flies and um, how it reacts. Until then, all the best.